Hi guys, this is Nomenar. So today I'm gonna bring you a new edition of CA First Arknight CN. Today we're going to be working on a daily stage for, con for the contingency contract event on the Chinese server. Um, it's a familiar map. We've done this even for this, uh, even for this event. Um, we definitely had it for in the last one as well. Um, so I'm, so the challenges are different. So I'm gonna read them out. Uh, read them out, and uh, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna minimize my presence on the ground and I do all the ranged operators, um, like snipers. Um and the uh, casters. I'll try try to do it with mostly all of them. Sorry, mostly them. Yeah. So let's go through these. First one. Well, you can't lie anyone through. Second one. Oh, the Originium. Insects. <laughs> I know what's the name on the global server yet. Um, so the ones that explode. So those, their explosion damage goes up 100%. Uh, which basically means everybody who's in the way is gonna be blown away. Literally. Wow. Um, so this one is for. Um, for the ranged insects. So for those, their attack goes up 130%. Uh, attack speed goes up 130. And their effect of lowering defense is going to be twice more, so like three times as much. And that's our combo requirement. This one. Uh, lastly is all friendly units HP goes down 80%. So that's a lot. Nobody can survive. Can survive it. Um, so I'm not gonna use all of them. Uh, yeah. I'm just for safety. I'm gonna have. Uh, I don't know. Someone. Well, that someone will be very unfortunate. So let's see if I if I can make this work. So first off, we're gonna do Axia. And you probably know where I'm getting at. The next one will be W, right here. That was close. Now, of course, Silver Ash. Yes. Oh. So far, so good. Okay, I really get, need to get my favorite out. Oh, hope I can make it. Hope I can make it. Hope I can make it. No! No! Fine. I'm oh, gonna do this by force. Um. By force, I mean. Something like this. Okay, so one thing to be careful is when something comes out of here. 
those things coming out of this tunnel, then we need to use the ratchet skill. That's gonna be really tricky. Remember, HP goes down 80% and their attack goes up. Um, so it's fatal. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's it. It's not that hard. Um. So yeah. Let's collect collect our rewards. You know, there's a convenient button, but I just don't want to use it just for the sake of going through it one by one. Let's see if, if we can buy anything. Okay, well that's it. Starting from now on, I can get all of these. Which... I will get them when... Uh, when I need them. It will be on demand. Okay. Let's see, 5, 7, 3, 9. That smells like another row. Oh, here's a new new banner. But I want these ones. Let me see if uh let me see if I have these two in the other one. Because I like I, I already have all of them. I kind of don't care. Um Yeah, this banner doesn't have the other two. So, um... Yeah, I will save up and then uh, use it towards this pool. And if I have any leftover, that is, I will use it in the other one. So here's my general strategy. When I'm not paying for the game, all I try to do is for a pool that I don't want anyone from it, or I don't badly want and want anyone from it. What I will do is I'll do single row. I will not do the ten rows. Uh, why? Because you don't know when that five star outrider is gonna kick in. I mean, the worst case is gonna be the tenth one, but the better case would be like five, six, seven, eight. Um, they can save about two, three to five rows by doing it one by one. Because if you do ten, like, like the ones after those, since you don't need anything, those will be basically forfeited. And you will save up. You save up until the next pool or next banner that you really want. So that's case number one. Case number two is, you really want to put on the banner, then feel free, just go it. Go do it. Okay? Uh, do that 10 rows, like 10 rows, 10 rows, 10 rows until you get it. Um, suppose you have that many. So that's kind of my strategy when I'm not paying for the game. Of course I do pay, so, you know, just use all the originium. Um, and do your 10 rows, like 4, 5, 10 rows. It's gonna get you something. Maybe not the one on the banner, but definitely something. So for this particular lineup, I um, you can see the, the operators are pretty new. 
this is because I, I want to increase their, their trust. But remember, trust is a number associated with your operator. If you use them in different battles, the more battles you use them, the more trust they're gonna accumulate. Um, and trust is gonna affect their stats. Higher, higher trust usually means like a better operator for free. All you put in is just time. So that's why I redid the whole Annihilation stage for this one. Uh, using my latest operators. Okay, you can see Wendy right there. Um, I just promoted her to Elite 2 yesterday. But before that, she was not even Elite 2. And it's kind of tricky later on. So you see the Silver Ash is pointing downwards. Um, this is just to... Make sure that I'm not letting any drones pass. Because Harry Fala is, is a caster. She isn't, she isn't like Axia, who can shoot down all the drones. Uh, so in this case, you see Sora Ash is behind, uh, behind her. So he can add a few blows to those drones. And if not, when I activate the skill, that's really going to hit them. <laughs> hit them really hard. So the reason I leave it open is because I don't have any more units, 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 um, clearance, allowance. But later on, I believe I will remove Anisium and replace it with Saria on the top. And Saria, see, I'm using the third skill here. The third skill is gonna slow down the enemies and increase, or I mean, decrease their uh, arts resistance. And that's gonna come in handy because you have a caster here who isn't by the time I actually by the time I started using her she's already elite 2 level 1 but elite 2 level 1 is really a low bar um to for 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 the six star operators to be like amazing okay they're they're awesome but to make them amazing you need a at least elite 2 level 20 or 30 Okay, that's why I see a bundle for like 50 guys. But trust me, it's, it costs a lot. <laughs> it costs a lot, so not many people do that. I tend to not do that. I tend to focus on getting more operators to be elite 2. Uh, then getting them to a elite 2 like level 50. Is that, that is a lot of resources for them. Like we say we spend a lot of time on average to promote an operator. It takes more time to get them to level 50, ED to level 50. It's it's an exponential, so so yeah. Yeah, here goes the switch. So this, this part is all kind of boring. The final part starts after you hit 300 units. When the drones are flying and the tough guys are roaming the map. Oh, those are... Those are fun times.
Yeah, like I said, this heart is gonna be pretty, pretty stable. See that last blow right there? Okay, this one. So this one's very obvious. So we have to give, give that final blow. So that volcano is just to blow that roll off. But um but yeah, if I level her up a little bit, I wouldn't have to do that. Anyways. But here goes that because these they carry a bomb and that bomb has really high damage. You don't want them to touch you. Oh like this one. At the time I played this, it must be really bad. Um, that's why I use a whole volcano just to do that. See? See? Yeah, kill me hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> Here goes the big drill. Oh, it hurts. Yeah, you kind of need a volcano to deal with it. See, I don't even need to activate any skills. I only activate when the drones are flying by. That's how how bad the drones are. <laughs> so if you're playing Annihilation, the third one, you really need a care about your anti-air. Sorry, I mean anti-air. And we're gonna get 400 kills. Nice, that pushed them off. Should have done it sooner. That way, that way you can push both of them off. So this is tough guy wave one. Um, not too bad, except for the drones are floating.
Just in time. Oh, yep, just in time. Okay, here's the final 20. Uh, I don't recall final 20 being particularly tricky. Uh, maybe a little bit. What I have to do is take off someone and then replace with W towards the end. All because of the drones. Again, all because of the drones. Okay, another volcano use. So yeah, that's how I did it with the new operators. So you might find tutorial videos on the old ones. Here's a new one for you. Okay, with 340, I think we have a turn row. Let's, let's try it out. Okay, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. I don't know how our luck will go, but... See that flame, baby! Okay, whenever I have a 6, uh, six operator, I'm not gonna no. skip it. I'm, I wanna enjoy this process of discovering your new 6 star. Or maybe sometimes not new, but still, 6 star. I think it's the next one. Oh, still next. Ah, not the banner one. Ah. Well, Halagar is still good, so... I'll take that. Okay, I really wanted... want the other girl. But I guess another time. Okay. Oh, that was it. So, yeah, I need her. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll see her in the next pool when she becomes one of the standard ones. When she joins others in the standard pool. So, anyways, today the contingency contingency contract was not very hard. I guess it's because you know sometimes they need to relax it for for people who don't have all the six stars or elite two level fifty operators to 
enjoy the game. But anyways, it plays to my benefits, so plays to my advantages. So I won't complain. Well, that's it. That is it. I will see you guys tomorrow.